everyone so on today's video we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to model an architectural stair both the steps and the handrail so I want to introduce you to some new commands so first things first first uh, let's rename this to lines let's say and just want to make sure that project all these snaps are on make sure you have O snap on so first thing I'm going to type in 0 comma 0 comma 0 so that will start us on the origin and right now I'm in inches so I'm just going to type 8 8 inches and then say 9 click and then I'll hit enter and I'll just copy this a couple times Join that and then I'll copy it again. Right, so I'm about a bunch of steps. Then I'll just move this over by let's say nine. And I'm just going to Get about I typed in 36 and then I'm just going to extend this is the boundary enter and then I'll extend this over go and then I'll type in trim so like the cutting objects this one and then I'm trimming that off great so selecting everything hit join so now we have a closed curve I'm just going to go back to this and type in the stairs and then I'm going to type in extrude curve into the command line. And then if you look at the perspective, I'm just going to type in 36. And I'll change this to shaded so you can see what that looks like. So there you have some of the basic steps now put together. Next, we want to um, put together the handrail, right? So. I'm just going to draw some lines, again going back to my lines as the active layer. I'm just going to type in 6, and then 36, so I'll do that again, I'll use my polyline, type in 6, and I'll click, enter, and then I'll Click that again, 36, enter, and then I'm just going to connect this diagonally, and then check 36 again, and there you go. So I'm just going to select all these lines, hit join. So I have one open curve. So you can imagine I want this handrail to kind of follow along this path, right? And then next I need some sort of profile. So let's just say it's going to be a circle. And I'm just going to click on that point on the bottom here. Diameter, I'm going to make that, let's say, one inch. And there you go. So I want this circle kind of profile to kind of follow along that curve. If you know SketchUp, there's the follow along command. It's going to be something like that. In Rhino, it's called sweep, in which case we have one curve or one profile that we want to sweep. So we're going to use the sweep one command. First, it says select the rail. So I'm going to select this curve and then sweep shapes. I'm going to select that circle. And then I'm going to make this purple layer my active layer, and I'm going to rename it later. Now I can hit enter, and hit enter again. You can see a preview of what that looks like, so that's pretty good. Now if I really want to, I could have, say, uh, rounded or filleted that curve, um, but I think that's fine. Can always rebuild the cross sections. I think we're going to be okay with what it's showing there, right? So there you go. Now I can move this across 
if I want to make sure it's overlapping this there by two inches. And then I'm just going to mirror it along the middle of the stairs. And there you go. Again, you can change it to render view, let's say. You can change the materials later. Uh, I'll turn off the lines for now. And yeah, it's pretty basic. You can always add vertical kind of pickets in between, um, Boolean union them together if you'd like, but again, um, I think this can kind of introduce you to the basics of what that might look like. So I hope you like this video, very quick tutorial using the extrude and sweep commands. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. Otherwise, please make sure that you subscribe so that you're notified on any future videos. We're hoping to uh, do more videos on Rhino as well as other programs like AutoCAD, Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, as well as some updates on some of our real estate development projects, architecture projects as well. Alright, thanks everyone. See you in the next one.